I talked to Pete before the race about the athletes. Um, he really had his eye on Nia, who, as you said, is with the Beasts. Um, that she's, you know, been, been, you know, just across the board a strong, strong competitor. He was excited for Alexa, who, you know, we forget that if she hadn't have gone, she's a high school record holder in the 1500. Um, had she not gone pro so early, if she'd gone through a collegiate career, she'd just be coming out as a pro right now. Um, a year and a half into her her time with Coach Pete, and so it'll be exciting to see, you know, this the the fire of the Alexa that was that record breaker. Um, he's been seeing it come back in practice. She ran, she won her last race um, at Boston University. So, uh, you know, exciting to see these athletes try different distances and challenge themselves. And they're out hard right now. Twenty eight five for the first 200 meters. This is Lindsey Butterworth out front, Addie Townsend tucked in right behind her, and Alexa Ephraimson. And then Lori Barton and Nia Aikens, the beast, right behind them. So coming up to the quarter here, this is the Canadian Olympian, Lindsey Butterworth, yep. in about 60 high, yeah. 61 low, 61-1 is the, is the official time through there. So it was a 28-32. I mean, you usually see with 800 meters, like the first, each successive 200 meters is slightly slower. It's a kind of, um, you know, hanging on as long as you can. 28.5 is a quick time to get out in. And so I think we're going to see some athletes who are prepared for that and others who are maybe hurting a little bit over the last lap. But, or, but um, you know, once again, getting out, competing, going for those times. Bell lap here, 131. So that was a 30.5 of third 200 for Lindsay Butterworth, and she is distancing herself from her training partner, Addie Townsend, right now. But look at Lori Barton coming up on the outside. She was the runner-up indoors and outdoors last year in the 800 meters for the NCAA meet. Clemson athlete. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is all Butterworth here. Addie yeah. Townsend clawing down the stretch as well. Butterworth looking very strong. Yeah, she looks phenomenal. And that is a 202.12 for Lindsay Butterworth. 203.17 for Addie Townsend, so close to what she ran in Boston previously. And looking at her splits, you know, it was, I think, 32 for her second lap, then 30 and 30. To be able to run pretty even splits over the last 400 is a really, um, a really great sign of strength. 